You were speaking at the Sloan Sports Conference this morning. You gave a, I would say, a keynote impassioned defense <laughs> of why the NBA schedule should be shortened. And, and I just explain. All right. I mean, look, the NBA is doing fine now, and we're junkies. We're going to watch on a Monday and a Wednesday night. We're going to go to any game we can go to. But I think, in Kevin, the everyone's going to watch Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Absolutely. And Sunday no, afternoons and please too. tune in on every <laughs> ESPN doubleheader and, and, and showcase game. <laughs> um, but. The world's changing. Yeah. The people in it are changing. And I just think the NBA is going to need a more compelling regular season product going forward if it doesn't want to end up as sort of the blockbuster video. Uh, Man. You know, athletics. No, listen, it, wow. it, it is doing fine, but Paul can attest to this. Like the regular season, kind of dull. Players kind of phone it in, <laughs> especially this time of the season. <laughs> I mean, after he's done, I have a few no, 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 suggestions. Okay, they're, all right. Look, we, we spent a lot of time talking about disgruntled superstars, you know? But I, I do think in terms of just getting the product to be more saturated, more it's, you're never going to get playoff you basketball. You want to make each game more important. I want to make it more meaningful. I want games in which players are healthy. I agree. Games in which players are rested, in which they're motivated, where the matchups seem a little special, where maybe teams only do see each other two or three times a season, where, where just the, there's a better sense of playoff feel to the regular season product. I mean, I, I completely agree, and this is something I talk to about people. I think it should be shorter be, for the simple fact that you probably take away a lot of resting guys that don't really need rest, you know, and then there's more urgency on the regular season, a sprint to the finish line. It's such a long season that guys were like, okay, we'll rest this week, we'll pick it up back next week. Another thing I would change, I would go to the 1 through 16 seeding. Okay. Look. I would go to that. Also, for All-Star, mm -hmm. I would take away conference. We already took away conference. I wouldn't take 12 from the East or 12 from the West. I'll take the 24 best. So, Paul, you have hit on three things in a row that are but very big. I think they big. all go hand in I, hand. I agree with you, and they're big causes among NBA people, like NBA conversations. I would like to live in the fairyland that you guys both live in because guess what? A shortened schedule, I understand maybe you could make ticket prices higher to kind of make up for less games, but you can't make up the TV revenue. You are not going to have ownership. You don't ownership. have to change. Our revenue doesn't change. The global the, the contract local, does not change. The local yes, TV revenue would be an issue. You are not going to have Eastern Conference owners at this point, and maybe in the future Western Conference owners, who would let you seed 1 through 16, because then you have less Eastern Conference teams in the playoffs. You are not going to have less All-Stars from the Eastern Conference. I think that's going to vary over the years. You it will ships. vary, but you would need guys to vote for it now, owners to vote against their own interest now. I I've talked to owners who say 70 games is right. I mean, there's an actual I, I, I will you'll have, believe the it when you'll I have that see team. It. If I it's one through 16, it it. it's one, if it's one through 16, you have that team that's on the cusp of a playoffs. Maybe get a lottery pick in the Eastern Conference, and you'll. The rebuild will be a lot faster. I believe there's you. a reason we are not close to this. 